Okay, the MLS Cup final against LAFC. Uh, you know, my, my, you know, we gave our predictions and, and thoughts. I think LAFC are just such a strong defensive team. I picked you, by the way. I picked Columbus. And so I'm, my, my worry is that Columbus is going to have a tough time uh, uh, scoring against LAFC. They have not given up uh, many goals uh, in the playoffs. But what's the mentality and, and the preparation? Are you focused on any particular uh, uh, players? Or, you know, we, we've seen the Buanga, we've seen the Velas. You Chiellini. can't give this up before no, the no, game. I'm not the strategy. I'm just saying. Show us the whiteboard. <laughs> Julian, you're, what, you're our cousin now. What's no. the mentality going into playing against, uh, uh, against LAFC? You know? The mentality is staying the same for us, to be honest, and what it has been. And that is focusing on the performance that we put together on the field as a team. Uh, individually, yes, and as a team. And um, I think we've done pretty well all year um, when we were at our best. Um, and that is something that I think we want to try and do again, obviously, on Saturday with the fans in our back. Um, I think we are very good at unbalancing teams, finding ways to create you know, time edges to then create scoring opportunities. Um, I don't think there have been many games where we've been shut out. Um, so I think we know that if we, we play the way we know how to play, that we can get chances and we can unbalance them defensively and ask some serious questions of them. Um, in the back, but at the same time, like you're saying, you have to be aware of, of their front, you know, three, five, six, whatever it is, and um, those are th- those guys are as dangerous as they get in this league, and um, as experienced as they get as well, you know, and obviously Carlos Bella and and who you know you, you name all of them, and they've they've done it, and and it's uh, um, certainly going to be a big task for us, you know, to kind of stop them and, and limit their chances, limit their space. Whenever they can get out on the run, you know it gets um, it can get really tricky, and, and you can you can be on the wrong wrong side of a, a Buanga not too many times in order to con- you know not concede. So um, he's very very good player, obviously very dangerous, very direct, and um, you know has a is ruthless. You know I think that probably describes him very well in general, where they don't need many chances to score a goal, and um, like we saw against Cincinnati, you know you know we can. We can find ourselves down a couple of goals, and but there's also times where you might not come back all the time, even if you're playing well. Um, obviously, so we don't want to want to have that happen again, um, you know. So, yeah, it's a. I think it's a very intriguing matchup, but a matchup of of a little bit of different tactical setups. Um, so I think it'll be a really good game to kind of watch and a really exciting one where a lot of good good quality players are on the field and. Um, you know, a lot of guys can make the difference in those in those instances in those big games, and we just hope that you know we can make one more play than them. And yeah. you know, well, uh, Columbus, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, has the the most goals uh, the most yeah. goals in the MLS this uh, season. So yeah, goal. I mean, I was going to ask that the first time you went, walked into training and you saw the tactical setup, where you like. Are we sending everybody forward? I mean, the, <laughs> the grounds crew is surrounding the opponent's box. You're sending everyone forward. Even you, you know, in the midfield where you're like, bro, this is bananas. <laughs> We're overloads <No>. everywhere. <laughs> Did it take you a minute to adjust or does that make it more exciting for you? It makes it exciting. But the, if you actually go into kind of the details of it a little bit, you kind of see of how, um, how balanced it still is. You know, I think we see defending um, in a way where you also defend while having the ball. Um, And if you have the ball in the right, like if you have possession at the right times and in the right space, um, then, you know, it makes the defending part really easy. So, for example, if we, you know, keep going back and forth all the time, that's not really our game. We need to kind of have control um, over the ball, possess the ball in the opponent's half to for our defense to set up so that then... One, we can win the ball right back again if if we end up losing it, or that we limit their space in order to to have a clean you know kind of transition moment or or clean or aren't able to to play out easily again w- once we lose the ball. So there's there's still um, you know there's still a balance to this all, and it's not just you know go and attack and have fun, do whatever you want. It's, right, right. It's, so it's, it's not. It's not. Well, not. He's not irresponsible. No, no. But this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Julio Gresso <laughs> said it. He said, you got to defend while having the ball. This is what I tell my wife. Hey, just because I'm taking a nap doesn't mean I'm not thinking <laughs> about the stuff I'm supposed to do. Okay. I'm just, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, doesn't I'm, mean I'm, I'm not thinking about the romantic date we're about to have in about three, four weeks. I'm preparing. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm defending while attacking. <laughs>